Hello and welcome to Back to the Board segment once again. Let's have a look at few analysis in the concluded week 5 of single schools rugby league. Now first up in the major Milroy Fernando trophy game Royal vs Isipatana at the 17th minute of the game what happened? The game was stopped as a referee Fernando saw few water carriers coming in and actually they are former players not in the current squad because schools rugby union even you can see the spectators are wondering why is that stoppage for schools rugby union uh, association rather they have instruct clearly to all the schools to make sure their squad players will wear the uh, bibs and come with the water bottle into the field but on this occasion we saw former players coming the Costa coming for Isipatana maybe Supun Varnakulu or Nikhil Gunadira coming for Royal College so what they have to do is keep their bibs out and give it to a squad player so that is the reason for the play to be stopped for seven minutes but I think it is not right by the officials perhaps it should be dealt with the fourth official and match commissioner on that day and the game should have gone seven minutes it's quite a lot even for a normal injury they don't want uh, a seven minute break at the crucial game like this so uh, players were wondering what happened even some players didn't know so how, however it took seven long minutes to sort this issue out on that particular game and next up we have uh, another line out incident now Isipatana knows the Royal how good are they with the line out threat now they did a variation in their line out first man line out and the long line out and some uh, dummies in the line out and look at this incident now the this is a defensive line out uh, Umesh Jayamana calling the hooker to get into this position because he was expecting Royal will drive this so he can also support that sacking uh, into uh, stop the uh, Royal driving forward so here you can see the hooker uh, Nirmal uh, Atukorala he's going into the position but he didn't know what to do actually he was trying to lift the uh, player out but uh, perhaps uh, if there's another lock forward, he, he sees this space because he's twice big as uh, uh, this uh, Isipatana hooker. He can come down and perhaps he can uh, attack on this space and gain more. Collapse completely, shuttle the uh, Isipatana line out on that occasion. But uh, Royal just changed their minds to go into the three quarters and to work their line. So Isipatana really did well, but it's not 100%. They have to work still a lot in terms of their line out, throwing few throws winter not straight and few miscommunication in the line out which we saw in that game but overall it was a good performance by uh, Isipatana forwards on that day. Next up we have uh, Harit Bandara the player of the game in that f uh, in that match actually he's been absolutely brilliant he's one of the unsung hero for this Isipatana mind you he also played for under 18 Sri Lanka sevens and uh, he is uh, leading his uh, forwards and backs and uh, not only that, uh, every breakdown he sees, he puts that box kick where he sees the space. We see uh, uh, Trinity fly uh, scrum half Anuka Boyogoda does this and also Avish Kali, but he uh, step forward in comparison to those two players, especially when he gets the ball in hand. Look at Chamod Fernando's run. He sees the space and he carries the ball in both hands, which is some... Uh, Good basic stuff by uh, Harit Bandara, but unfortunately that pass couldn't hold by Nadisha Chami in the he missed few balls on that occasion. Now look at this stuff. From the breakdown, he just steps one or two steps, come back. He sees the space, even though he's coming back, it's long pass to Randy Silva. So Randy Silva at fly half position. When Harit Bandara moves one or two steps, he feels more com uh, comfortable. He sees where the players are coming at him. So that's some good work as a result, sending the ball out right by AC Patana, where the three quarters are so danger. And finally, we have uh, this man, the man in red hot form, Yuzran Lantra, the winger of Zyra College. But look at this. He's not only a runner with a distance, but he understands it's three on two and he takes that really nicely he had the belief just pass and support and some silky hands uh, he's uh, getting the ball with one hand with so much confidence let's have a look at the replay on this look at the shifa zama the scrum half he only two and uh, more numbers coming it's two versus three but good job by number five for zyra college and that offload on the ground landra saw the space but what a brilliant run. He scored a hat-trick on that game uh, despite the final score, which uh, Zyla didn't expect that uh, happening. But uh, Lantra on that game, absolutely brilliant. This is Denis Lagunatili, the skipper, played at center position and coming into fly half. But this kick, perhaps it's not the right choice, giving to the fastest person uh, in this current series. And Yuzra Lantra just going around... Uh, uh, the Wesley number 11 and he said thank you very much and I'm sure if the results 
didn't stay in favor of uh, Wesley College. Dennis Agulatilka, the captain, must be feeling absolutely gutted for that mistake. And uh, not only that, look at Lantra. He's not only the uh, no, Wesley game. He was uh, brilliant in the Trinity game. He was brilliant in St. Thomas's game. Look at this pace. He knows when to change his gear. And uh, he exactly did that uh, against uh, Trinity College. Almost a 60-meter dash beating three defenders. And this is against St. Thomas's. And good hands coming in again. And he just beat and he knows when to slow down as well. And cutting inside, he's also a twinkle toes coming into play on that game. So he's a brilliant to watch out for in the second round game, especially. And uh, we have seen someone uh, in the international arena, Carlin Isles, doing that so many times for USA Eagles. He's not good as Carlin Isles, maybe, but he can learn so much from this player, this sensational player, Carlin Isles, the USA 7th player, and Lantra also. So far, if there's a seventh tournament next week, he's my first pick uh, for the team of the week. So that's all we have for the Back to the Boat segment, and we'll see you next week.